What if I told you that buildings can dance? Well, they can't, unless you know this secret effect in Premiere Pro. Today we're creating not one, but two amazing effects. And for the second one, we're gonna need a little after effect. But I know you guys love that, so let's get started. First, the growing building effect. This one is quite simple. Here you can see our beautiful Eiffel Tower. I got this clip from Storyblocks, by the way. It's important that your shop doesn't have any camera movement. I mean, you can, but that just makes it more difficult. So first you wanna take a still, and to do that, find the little camera button in the program monitor. If you can't see it, click the plus icon on the right side to open up the tools menu. Then once you found it in here, click and drag it into the program monitor. There you go. All right, now click it and that will open up this panel. Give it a name and for the file type, I prefer TIFF because that file type is lossless. This means it doesn't lose any quality. Once you saved it, open up Photoshop and drag your still shot into the software. That will open up the project with the correct resolution. If you don't have Photoshop, just start the trial and then get cancel it once you're done. In Photoshop, go to the toolbar and grab one of the selection tools. You can click and hold to open up the menu. Now in your canvas, click and draw around the Eiffel Tower to select it. Next, go to the Generate a Fill toolbar and just click on Generate a Fill. You don't need to type in anything, just click on Generate. Let it do its thing and boom, your Eiffel Tower is gone. You can even choose between three results if you want. Then press Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus W to open up the export window. Then for the file type, choose JPEG and save it. Drag it back in Premiere on top of the original video. And now it's time to make sure everything is moving again without the Eiffel Tower. Select the frame hold and go to the effect controls. In here, find opacity and then click the pen tool to create a mask. In the program monitor, draw a mask around the space where the Eiffel Tower should stand. This can be done very roughly. Then set the feather to zero. There you go, everything is moving again. Next in the timeline, duplicate the video of the Eiffel Tower. Drag it above the other clip. Make sure the clip is selected and in the effect controls, click the pen tool again to create a new mask. Then in the program monitor, carefully draw a mask around the Eiffel Tower. Tower. Do this as precise as you can. The more accurate your mask, the better the result. When you're done, set the feather to zero again. Now, before we're gonna animate the Eiffel Tower, we need to do one more thing, and that is make sure that it actually looks like the tower is coming out of the ground. To do that, duplicate the bottom video one last time. Then with the clip selected, go to the effect controls and create another mask. Then in the program monitor, draw a mask around everything that is in front of the Eiffel Tower. In real life, of course. Don't forget to set the feather to zero again and there you go. Now we can start animating the tower however we want. Now, as I mentioned before, I got these clips from Storyblocks, a plugin for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Thank you Storyblocks so much for sponsoring this video. All you need to do is click the download button and boom, it will appear in your project panel. You can then just drag it in the timeline and there you go, no distractions. Storyblocks' curated stock library has everything you need to create high quality video in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images and more, you can download unlimited high quality assets for just one predictable subscription cost. It's time to say goodbye to paperclip pricing. I mean, just imagine crashing your drone when you're trying to capture beautiful drone shots. In that case, you should have used Storyblocks. You will enhance your social media videos by using exclusive Storyblocks label music tracks directly in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And in the meantime, Storyblocks will fully protect you from copyright strikes, claims, and all that bad stuff. Besides that, you can save hours on pre-made motion graphic templates for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Apple Motion, and DaVinci Resolve. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to storyblocks.com slash premierebasics or just click the link down below. Now let's continue with our Eiffel Tower. It's time to finally animate it. Okay, so right click your clip of the tower and choose Nest. We're doing this because otherwise the next effect won't work. In the effects library, find the transform effect and drag it on the Eiffel Tower. Then head over to the effect controls and here you'll find the effect. Now move a little forward in time and set a position keyframe. Next, grab the playhead and set it to the first frame of the clip or wherever you want the animation to start. Then adjust the position so that the Eiffel tower disappears into the ground. Then expand the velocity curves and pull the lever of the second keyframe to ease the animation in. This will make the tower slide in smoothly. Of course, don't forget to increase the shutter angle for a natural motion blur. There you go. Now to top things off, we're gonna add a earthquake effect. So select everything in the timeline and nest it together. Find the transform effect again and drag it onto the nested sequence. In the effect controls, set the playhead to the moment where your animation is starting and then set a position key 
keyframe on the transform effect. Move one frame further in time and randomly adjust the position. Keep doing that until the Eiffel Tower completely disappeared. Then increase the scale just a little bit to hide the black bars. Now of course, increase the shutter angle again for some motion blur and there you go, you've got yourself an earthquake. But now, how do we make the Eiffel Tower bend? For that, we're gonna need a little bit of After Effects, but don't worry, it's super simple. So again, you're gonna need your original video and the empty shot we made with Photoshop. Put them in the timeline like this, then select both of them and right click it. Now choose Replace with After Effects Composition. Okay, so once you're in After Effects, you will see your clips in the timeline. The empty one is right here on top of the video, just like we did in Premiere. Next, we're gonna select the empty one and go to the toolbar. Select the pen tool. This way we can create a mask. Create the same kind of mask like we did in Premiere. We want to make sure everything is moving without the Eiffel Tower. Once you've done that, go to the timeline again and select the bottom video and hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Then drag it on top of the other tracks. When it's selected, you can hit enter to rename it to, for example, Eiffel Masked. Make sure it's selected and grab the pen tool again. This time, create a mask around the Eiffel Tower just like we did in Premiere. Again, try to do this a little bit more precise since that way you'll get a better result. Now duplicate the bottom video again and drag it all the way on top. This time call it foreground or something. We're gonna create another mask and this time to select everything that's in front of the Eiffel Tower. Again we're doing this because now we can completely animate it. Next find the clip of the masked out Eiffel Tower and right click it. Then choose pre-compose. In this window make sure move all attributes into the new composition is selected. You can compare pre-composing to nesting in Premiere. Next, open up the effects and preset panel. You'll find it in the window menu on top and then somewhere in this list. Once it's open, type in CC Bendit. This is an effect we're gonna use to bend the Eiffel Tower. Click and drag it onto the Eiffel Tower clip. Then make sure it's selected and go to the effect controls. In here, select the effect and make sure the start property is on top of the building. The end property must be somewhere at the bottom of the building. If you now play with the bend property, you can already see where we're going. Next, in the timeline, expand the property properties of the Eiffel Tower. Then expand the effects and in here you'll find the CC bend again. Click the stopwatch icon next to the bend property to create a keyframe. Now move further in time and adjust the bend to your desired direction. Move forward in time again and adjust the bend to the other direction. Then copy the last two keyframes and paste them further in time. Keep doing that until you're at the end of the clip. Now click and drag to select all the keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard. This will ease the animations. Now with all the keyframes selected, click the curves icon to open up the curves. In the bottom menu, look for a speed curve and make sure it's opened up. Now select all the keyframes again and pull the levers of one of them. Because they're all selected, they should all ease together. And that's all to it. You can even combine both the effects in one and that will result in this. There you go, that looks awesome. But now it's time to learn a little bit more After Effects and to do that, click the video right here on my left. Thank you so much for watching.